game anymore. Really? How's it going, everybody? I am Husky Skulls. Gonna go ahead and just throw this out of here. Uh, for anybody who's re uh, who's waiting for my next, you know, main video series, I'm in the middle of making it. But uh, some hiccups came up, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have it done on time for this weekend. And I have a trip going on next week, so I'm gonna be pretty busy with that. And this trip, I will have a surprise for um, for my subscribers. So uh, look out for that. But that, that, this isn't what this is all about. This is um, about Super Smash Bros. Because I need to talk about this. I don't know if I'm gonna have ten people watching this, or maybe it's gonna be a hit. I don't know. But I just this needs to be talked about. Anything and everything is possible with this game now. It's something I've been kind of in denial for a little bit. And the last direct, when Banjo Kazooie dropped, that was the direct that completely cut all strings for me with this game. It started very slowly with Sonic the Hedgehog with Brawl, and then just slowly built up to you know to be Cloud and a Mega Man and Bayonetta and then Banjo. Banjo was pretty much maybe the big one and then they acknowledged the meme freaking Sans. Sans from Undertale. We probably don't have a fighter with them and I think this pretty much kind of confirms that we're not going to be getting any Undertale fighter because of the song soundtrack that we got with it is in the others category if they were going to go ahead and put that with an official undertale stage they would have held off with this a little bit longer but i think this right here is all that we're going to get with the undertale rep uh, uh with the undertale rep of super smash brothers but that right there killed it for me i'm not saying that in a bad thing that was really cool because I was actually one of the people that were very low-key hoping for Sans to be in Smash Brothers, but in the back of my head, I was like, you know, it's not going to happen. And he's an indie, he's an indie character who isn't, you know, I guess you could say very undeserving to be in Smash Brothers. But we got him anyways, freaking Sans, and that is probably the most cleanest me costume they made of any character. They knew about that. And that was probably the most hype me character uh, costume ever made too, because we have Terry, who is now you know the next Smash Bros. character, but we had a lot more hype with Sans. Then a new announced the character, which I'm pretty sure is pretty understandable because not everybody knows about the SNK series, but still, and that just I had to I just had to sink it in. I had to been like. There he is. It's Sans. With Megalovania remixed by Toby Fox himself. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This game is literally living up to its title. Ultimate. And Sakurai has a point. I don't think the next Smash Brothers or any Smash Brothers in the future will top this title. You know what? I won't even be mad if they just go ahead and stop with Ultimate and port it over to the next Nintendo Switch with maybe a few added characters. No, that won't make sense because all the licensing. That's why they think this game will never be topped because this is probably not even portable anymore. I mean, the licenses will expire. They'll have to have everybody's agreement to be ported over to be the next Smash Brothers. It's going to be nearly impossible for this game to be topped when it comes to the roster. And probably the music. But now they announced, even though that we were expecting one more DLC character that we had no idea will be announced, probably until this upcoming awards, uh, the video game awards, but they just announced another batch of DLC characters are on the way. Would that be a, a, another five? Is it just going to be one more? Is it going to be two? Are we going to have a total of 11 DLC characters? I, I, I have no idea. But that right there opens up the opportunity, especially with Sakurai saying that he wants to go all out with this title. He knows that this Smash Bros. will never be top, but he's going to go fully all out, Goku style, 
with the characters. He wants to please everybody. He knows that it, that's pretty much almost impossible, but he's going to tackle as many of our requests as possible from the sounds of it. I'm pretty doubtful with Waluigi, I hate to say that, but since he's an assist trophy and he knows the high demand of Sans and the best we got for him is a meat fighter, sorry guys, I do not see Waluigi happening. But anything else, any other character out there that we throw out there, it's possible. I don't care, I don't think they really care how many reps that we got when it comes to the companies, because I know Sega we have Sonic the Hedgehog and Bayonetta, Capcom we have Ryu, Mega Man and Ken, Square Enix we got Cloud and Dragon Quest. What else is there? I mean, then Microsoft jumped in and we got Banjo Kazooie. That's my phone. But what if, what if they throw out another second rep, rep for Microsoft? Because they did that with all the other third party characters, it looks like. It looks like we might get Minecraft Steve in this. As much as we may not want that to happen as me, as some people out there probably didn't want it to happen as much as some people didn't want Sans to be in this, Minecraft Steve has a chance. Crash Bandicoot still has a chance. Spiral the Dragon, maybe. Doom Slayer, a freaking Doom Slayer, he has a chance. What else? Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I'm thinking of people who have been asking, I mean, at least up there in the bar, to have a possibility to Sakurai could actually end up seeing. These high listed characters that I'm still seeing people list, even Gino, they have a chance. And that's what's crazy. Smash Brothers is breaking the rule. Smash Brothers is cutting all ties. Smash Brothers is cutting the one rule that this game originally was intended for, which was supposed to be a Nintendo-only crossover fighter. Now, it's a video game Hall of Fame fighter. That, that's literally what Smash Brothers is now. I mean, with Joker, Cloud, Banjo, Kazooie, Undertale, Games that have reached the peak and hit inspirations, they deserved a title, at least some title, to be in Smash Brothers. That's what they're aiming for now. I believe this game is a Hall of Fame fighter game for video games. Now that just kind of go ahead and just gives me the question, it says who else is going to be in this game? If we're going to be having more DLC fighters, who else is coming? Lara Croft, Shantae, Crash Bandicoot, Doom Slayer, Scorpion, Geno, goodness, who else? Who, who else will be there? Maybe, may, maybe one of the ninjas from, uh, uh, from uh, Sonic Congra? Maybe? I, I don't know anymore. I mean, that's the thing. There's so many impossible things we thought was not going to happen in Smash Bros. Proven wrong to us three times. Three times, maybe four times. Cloud. Ridley, Sans, Banjo Kanzui. Four times is enough to say anything and everything is possible in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I know that even though that Sakurai has said, you know, manga characters will not count, and I, I'm still holding, I think Sakurai meant that. I think he's going to hold his word at least. For that, I'm not expecting anything like Goku or anything, so that's still something I'm really expecting to never happen. But when it comes to, to the world of video games, anything is possible with that. I won't even be surprised if Freddy Fazbear made it to the fray. I mean, it's it's got to that point. It's got to that point. Sakura is a madman. <laughs> and to be honest, with the amount of Super Smash Bros. characters that we got in this game, I'm happy. I mean, more, more is good, but this is enough for me. I mean, if 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 
if the DLC characters stopped even with Joker, or even just stop it with Banjo Kazooie or Terry, for example, I would have been fine. This is fine. And seriously, if there's people out there that still are upset because their favorite character didn't get included with the DLC packs and ultimately hate this game now because of it, I'm looking at you, Waluigi fans, you gotta get over yourselves. Because no other game has been this satisfying. We get every character that we ever wanted back. And we have more characters that we've been requesting come. And I guarantee, you know, this is what that um, that poll was for, for Smash Bros. Uh, Wii U, asking what characters we want to see in that DLC. This is that love letter to that poll. We had our chance to scream out who we wanted to be in Smash Brothers, And this is going to be the results. I know some of it Nintendo picked, but this still, I mean, Banjo-Kazooie was still on that list, and we still got him. Some made from Xbox. I know, I know Banjo originally was from Nintendo, but Microsoft holds that IP. A competitor to Nintendo to some people. And they allowed a Banjo-Kazooie in this game. If you download Banjo-Kazooie, Microsoft's trademark is in that game title. Microsoft. Just let that sink in. And if Sony wants to play the good guy in this, they can go ahead and allow one of their IPs in, in Smash Brothers. That's a possibility. And it's crazy to think that. Kratos or Jack and Dexter or Sly Cooper, I don't know. I mean, Crash Bandicoot would be better since he's with Activision and not really a Sony rep, but he was still the mascot of Sony back in the times, and Crash Bandicoot would just top the scale for that. But, geez, it's crazy. It's just crazy to know how big of a crossover this video game has become. I look back at how my reaction was when Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was announced, but I don't think any of us, any of us, expected it to be as big as it is right now. Even back a couple days ago, you know, Melee and Brawl, we didn't think that it was going to come to this scale. And it just blows my mind. Rayman, he has a chance. A rabbit has a chance. Who else? Who else is going to be in this game? That's my question. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. Who would you like to be in this game? Even if it seems like a like a a far off impossibility, they still have a chance. Because Sans from Undertale pretty much just proved us wrong that anything is possible now. And I just want to hear your thoughts. Who do you want to be in Smash Brothers? Because any character you pick is crazy because they have a chance. They all do. Except for Waluigi. 